How many projects have you actually completed on your Pinterest boards? We do get it. Some of them require power tools, patience, and more than likely, some professionals. But getting skilled for work isn't just about getting a traditional job. And one local woman is able to use her training for all of those DIY projects, a flexible way to make some extra money, and just recently, for some national recognition. KOB's Skilled for Work, presented by CNN. Carrie Payne knows her way around a wood shop. My dad did it for a hobby, so our garage, we've never parked a car in it. It's always had wood tools. My oldest brother does it for a profession. He does furniture, really beautiful custom furniture. My sister, she's a middle school wood shop teacher. So it's not a big surprise. She decided to expand on her homemade skills with CNM's architectural woodworking program. She's in her second year, but what is a welcome surprise? There were over 20 college participants in that competition, and I won second, so that was really exciting. Carrie blew away the judges at the Skills USA National Cabinet Making Competition in Kentucky just this past June. Here's my cabinet. But there's a lot more to her accomplishment. First woman to medal in cabinet making. It was really exciting, a smidge disappointing that no woman has ever like done this before, you know, I wish more women did this. She's not talking about competing. They, these have some special glides and I, I hadn't used those before. But woodworking in general, these skills allow her to make a lot, not just cabinets. She's creating a career while still being able to work on her most important creations. So I have four kids, I really, value having that flexibility as a mom to to do the things that I love doing and earn money, but also be able to take care of my family. And she's really, really good. And if you're interested in the woodworking program at CNM, we've got a link to find some more information all about it at KOB.com.